Hey everyone, I hope that you are staying dry and warm on this wet Wednesday. Um, I'm loving the clouds, I'm loving the rain, um, I just like the change. I don't think I could handle this all the time, but it is a nice change of pace, and I hope that you're enjoying it too. I wanted to check in with you all now that we have finished the first discussion assignments. Um, so last Sunday was the due date for the first two discussion assignments. Um, I've given feedback to everyone who completed work there, so please check that. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I always really enjoy um, reading your work on the discussion board um, because you come up with such creative ideas. Um, no matter which uh, forum you decide to respond to, um, there are always memes that make me laugh, um, proposals about the Uñate statue that really make me think, and uh, also, great comments on the historiography of the Pueblo Revolt, um, whether or not you knew that's what you were getting into uh, with that particular prompt. Um, and I did particularly enjoy the uh, work that you all did, uh, those of you that chose to, on the Sagasar Hyde paintings. Um, our speaker yesterday, and there were a few of you who I met in person there, at uh, Dr. Um, um, I'm forgetting her name, Margie, um, her talk yesterday, um, focused on uh, digitizing records and thinking about how archives are organized in ways that unfortunately tend to reproduce inequalities and power relationships in society. And so um, having just read a lot of your thoughts on the digitization of those hides and those records um, was really connected for me um, listening to her talk yesterday. So um, again, I really enjoyed your work. Thank you for uh, putting in so much creativity and so much thought. Um, I am planning to post videos for each of the forums that you completed um, where I'll make a few comments about the, uh, the forum in general and the ideas that we presented there in general. Um, and I will leave you with a question that you can respond to um, for extra credit if that's something you want to do. So please know that will be coming. Um, otherwise, what I wanted to specifically mention right now is that I have updated the journal entry uh, assignment instructions for units five and six. Um, I haven't yet posted those instructions. I'm going to do that as soon as I finish uh, creating this video. Um, but I just made a few little changes, hoping that um, the last couple of units uh, won't be repetitive. Um, I felt like some of the, the middle section, especially where you're talking about um, which materials are most engaging, had become a little repetitive for you. Um, that may have not been the case, uh, but either way, I'm giving you a, a few different things to think about for the journal entry. So you'll still have three paragraphs. The first one's unchanged, but the second one, rather than asking you to think about what you found most engaging about the reading, um, or the videos, you're going to think about the section of the reading or a section of the video, whatever it might be, that impacted you the most, that made that uh, meant the most to you, and write about why. So you're going to have to specifically identify what that section of the reading was and talk about why it meant something to you or why you found it um, the best part of the unit. Um, hopefully it won't be too hard to find one of those for each uh, of the reading assignments. The third paragraph uh, will ask you to make connections between past and present. Um, so you'll identify a person or an event or an issue that we read about in the unit, a historical uh, topic, and you'll identify a current event that connects to that topic in some way. So there can be a literal connection, like you see a through line in terms of um, you know, this thing that happened in the past got us to where we are today. Um, or they can just be kind of like parallel comparisons of similar kinds of trends and events. Um, I'm leaving that kind of open to you to think about um, why it's important to compare past and present, what lessons we can learn from doing that, and in what ways we should be careful. Um, so sometimes, well not sometimes, but always, um, it's easy to want to make kind of straight connections between past and present events, saying the history always repeats itself. Um, that doesn't take into account differences in context or complexities or change over time. Um, so we'll be thinking about, again, what are the pitfalls of making those connections and comparisons? Um, they're important to make, 
don't get me wrong, and I think we should, but we need to be critical as we do so and thoughtful as we do so. Um, okay, so I think that's all I wanted to say here. Um, I hope that you're having a great week. I hope you had a good Halloween. Um, my wife and I got to take a little trip to Santa Fe. I went to a conference, but um, we also went to 10,000 Waves. So if you know what that is, that was a great time. Uh, she got a, a gift certificate for her birthday. So I hope that you're also having uh, moments here in the kind of middle end of the semester where you can take a breath and regroup. Um, if you're not doing that, try to do it. Um, it's worth taking time to do that, I think. Um, if you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to ask, and I'll talk to you soon.